it's a kind of Easter special tonight because there's cake and bunnies and raspberries. Chocolate. <laughs> Absolutely. And also, <laughs> um, yeah, chocolate is good. Uh, but also we have the dirty scoundrels in here in the studio with us. It's nice to be here as well. Thank yeah, you lovely. Much. Let's just introduce you. We say we've got uh, Mark and Ian. That's right, isn't it? Yep. yep. Okay. And how long has the dirty scoundrels been together? What's, what? your, what's your history? <laughs> We have probably worked one out. It's about ten years, isn't it? Yeah, it's about ten years. It's been playing, well, we first we met about eleven years ago. Yeah, so yeah. We started playing and yeah. then formed Dirty Scoundrels a yeah. year after that. Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, you're not from Cambridge, Mark. I, yeah, I mean, I've, I mean, I've, I've lived here for for twenty years. But if you mm. listen closely, then you know there's still a little bit of a hint of a Scottish. Just, just a hint. Just a hint. <laughs> just yeah, a hint. yeah, I thought that. Yeah. yeah. So that's a good, um, good folk rooting then, if you're from yeah, Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I grew up in a place called Kelty in Fife. Lovely. So, yeah, nice place. Yeah, super duper. Um, and um, Ian, you're Cam- are you a Cambridge here? Um, I through? moved about uh, 20 years ago from uh, from Lincoln. Yeah. So I got relocated through work at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so now I live in Burwell. So Lovely. this is very, very much my home now, Cambridge. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Yeah. And, of course, Burwell has um, the sessions and things, don't they, that go, go on there? You know, there's a great... Good. Really great music scene um, in Burwell. I uh, really have to put a thank out to, to Pat, to Pat Kilby. I don't know if you know Pat, but she does a great yes, job. Yes, yeah. She organises the, the folk club and also now an open mic. Yeah, yeah. And it gets think, yeah. Yeah. really big crowds yeah, now, yeah. doesn't it? So, Fantastic. I must yeah. go along sometime. You, you must. Yeah, yeah. You must. It's on my list. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's one for you to do, Nikki. Yeah. We'll send her out, you see, because she's, yeah. she's good with people. Absolutely. Yeah, and she likes beer as well, so that's good. <laughs> I'm always driving, though. <laughs> Now, um, it, you seem to have been around s- some time, and you've done a few albums. Tell us yeah, about those. Yeah, we've done... done I've actually, actually brought them in just to remind myself. We've done three <laughs> albums. Wow. And we've also um, done a single as well. Uh, now, the single was um, All Roads Lead to Lincoln. It actually got played quite a bit on Radio Lincolnshire, which was which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've really... Enjoyed, I mean, we do it... We try to do it for a cause. Every album we've done for a cause. So um, we've done one for the Scout Hood Appeal, one for uh, a little boy in Burwell who needed an operation for hearing. And uh, last year we did one for cancer research, which is close to both of our hearts. Mm. Um, so, yeah, we like to do, you know, it's, it's fun. We do it because we enjoy it, but we yeah. try to yeah, get something a little bit extra out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fair play to you two. Yeah. That's really commendable. Fantastic. And we do also, which is <clears throat> great as well, we get local sponsorship for the CDs as well. So local companies sponsor good. the CD, yeah. which, which is great. You know? Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. We're pleased to hear that local companies in Burwell are into their folk as well. Absolutely. Which is good. Yeah, um, it is. Um, very, very much so, yeah. yeah. And where did the name Dirty Scoundrels come from then? Because you seem to be two nice, clean-cut guys. I, I think I think that's, that's what it was, wasn't it? We thought, well, what, what would be the opposite of that? Absolutely. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. yeah, we're trying, you know, and when we... When we play um i mean we um you know we, we want to put on a bit of a persona when we do it so, yeah so oh, okay uh, a, a All little right. bit different to so you get down and dirty when you when you play yeah, but for now yeah. you get right yeah. okay fair enough yeah. right well we better have you we better have play a song what do you reckon nikki definitely yeah so yeah. what are you gonna play well we're just at the moment um recording our next album mm-hmm. uh, which is going to be called uh, titled uh, clear lights and this is actually for me as well being a songwriter this made a lot easier, this particular track, because it's based on a poem by Martin O'Leary. He's our resident poet at ah. the Bill um, <clears throat> Folk Club. Yeah. So it worked fantastic. So I didn't have to think. I mean, the, the most difficult part of, for me, songwriting, is actually a, a subject matter. Yeah. We've, I think we've done most subject matters now. <laughs> <though>. So <laughs> when yes, someone yes, gives yes. you the lyrics, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, so that's true. This yeah. is uh, called Clear Lights. Excellent. Off you go. Thank you. When you're out in the night I'm far from home When you've gone so far And all alone And you want to see Clear lights in the distance Which leads me back Someone else on your bed, and you 
got too much on Don't understand When people blame you For things you have done Then you want to see Clear lights in the distance Which leaves me back Getting dark and you see no lights, and it's getting cold, nowhere to hide. But you lit for me, clear lights in the distance, which leads me back. Yeah, Thank you very much. Well done, yeah. Brilliant. So this is, um, again, we're hoping the album will be out uh, mid to late summer. Um, mm-hmm. We're also doing it for Alzheimer Research UK, which is a charity, again, yeah, close also, to both of our, course, hearts. our hearts. It's my late yeah. mother's charity, and oh. both of our families are going through it. So, yeah, it's um, again, Mark and Ian in the studio with us. So, um, you you know, when you write, what comes first for you? Is it lyrics, music, or does somebody I have an idea? Uh, <laughs> Well, first of all, uh, um, I, I do a lot of driving for, for a living, and I'm just driving around. Subject matter is important. It, it, I yeah. know what key to write it in, it, depending what the song is about. Mm-hmm. Um, then get a basic tune, then work on the lyrics, basically. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you take that to Mark, do you? And... I do, because um, uh, by, by trade, Mark is um, an engineer. So okay. he's very, you know, precise, yeah. and uh, yeah. where I'm not. And um, so I'm the sort of creative one, I guess, and Mark makes it sound... Um, yeah, so... Uh, OK. Yeah, so Ian, Ian, Ian writes from the heart. From the heart. So that's who you put it in. Yeah, then I'm, I tend to be a bit more a bit more precise about stuff. Yeah. yeah you, you've taught me to loosen up a little bit. Yeah. Which has so, <laughs> been good. Yeah, that's always the best thing. Right, we're going to hear uh, Dancing with Fire, which is um, a track from your album. Yeah. Has this been a single at all, or is it...? Not really. It's, uh, it is a, a, a song I really like, and there's a bit of history behind it. I used to work for a, a company who manufacture um, pipes for the constru- construction industry in Home right. Firth, yep. where they film uh, Last of the Summer Wine. Oh. And it's the highest manufacturing point in the UK. And within the port, you have a 300 mil, a mil um, roller kiln and just portholes where you can see the, the, the clay pipe being fired. Oh, wow. And if there is a hell, I think that would be it. So that was a sort of the idea behind dancing, <laughs> wow. dancing fire. So, um, but yeah, so uh, that's where it comes from. I think he knows why 
Was the Dirty Scoundrels dancing with fire and they are still live in the studio. So we've got gigs coming up for locally. Uh, well, we, 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 we always do the, um, the uh, Burwell uh, Folk Night. Really mm-hmm. enjoy that. We try to do open mic. Um, we love also playing the Cambridge Folk Club. Um, so big thanks to uh, Robin and Marion there who um, support us and let us play. <laughs> so, um, and also the Burwell Festival. That's right, yeah, so the Burwell Carnival. In fact, I think the first the first year that we got together, we played, we got a chance to play the Burwell Carnival. Oh, lovely. That was great, and so that was for yeah. a couple of thousand people. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so we'll be, we'll be playing again, because they have um, activities all through the week there. Yeah, so yeah, we'll yeah. be playing, playing during then as well. Yeah, brilliant. So you've got plenty to do. You're Burwell celebrities then. <laughs> I hope you've been up the windmill. Have you been up the windmill? Well, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, brilliant, fact, isn't it? Fact, <laughs> it is. we'll, be, we'll be playing. Uh, they've got a museum there at the windmill as well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. We'll, we'll the, the, absolutely that, fantastic. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, Well, it's now time for the news. No, it's not. It's time for the dirty scoundrels. It is time for the dirty scoundrels. <laughs> and Angeline, <laughs> <laughs> and Angeline, I'm getting carried away. Oh, 
to talk to you and you leave will you come with me I want to walk with you I want to talk to you was the Dirty Scoundrels with Angeline and there'll be more from them after the news. Across Cambridgeshire on FM on DAB on BBC Sounds this is BBC Radio Cambridgeshire News at any time, <laughs> Absolutely. We also claim the dirty scoundrels who are here in the studio. It's Mark and it's Ian. They're a duo. And um, do you play any other instruments? It's just harmonica for you? I, I play um, guitar and a harmonica. Yeah. Generally live. And Mark plays the. Um, uh, the, the guitar, the guitar. And, uh, mandolin as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. And then on the recordings, Mark also puts like um, keyboards down. Yeah. yeah. So I really enjoy the sort of production side of it as well. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. You are the engineer. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. yeah. So do you record your own albums? You've got your own studio as well? Yeah, yeah. So we, we record it in, in, uh, you know, in, in, our, in my study at home. In your so, study? Yeah. So study right. studios. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, it's your opportunity to play us one more Lovely. before you go. So, yeah, this is a song called uh, Take Me a Scene. Again, we do perform it quite a bit. Uh, I should put a big thank also to Sal Hunter and uh, Doug Stewart, also from Burwell. They do assist. They like you've heard some violin tonight. That's mm. Sal, and her very haunting. I think the way she plays and Doug, he's just fantastic. The way he nails. You know, we mm. ask him to come and do a solo for saxophone. He absolutely nails it every time. So. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah. yeah, he was so in with um, four steps for words, two steps for words. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Yes. So normally on the recorded version, um, Doug would play saxophone on this song. Okay, right. Off you go. Driving round, trying to find myself a place to call, call home. I see you looking, yeah, back at me, and your beautiful open hair. Had my fill of all these things. The heartbreak, the pain. Take my hand 
and hold me tight And all the beggars I bring I really want you, darling Take me, please Take me as sin You are my soul rider Don't get much better than this. I found the holy trail. I gotta know something that's on my mind. Will you stay with me until the end of time. I really want you, darling. Take me, please. Take me and sin. You are my soul rider. Jesse Scoundrel's here in the studio. And um, the next time you're out playing in public is? Uh, well, I guess it will be the, the Burwell Folk Club and hopefully yeah, also the, the, uh, the Cambridge Folk Club, which we really enjoy playing as well. Yeah, OK. Uh, when is that? Is the next well, Burwell they do, they one? Might, I think it's once a month, isn't it, on a, on a Friday. And we're hoping to play more there if we can. We yeah, really enjoy cool. it. So yeah. next, next Friday at Open Mic. Hopefully, yeah. Next Friday at Open Mic at Burwell. Yeah. Brilliant. OK, well, thank you so much. No, thank you very much. Yeah, thank for you. being our guest. Thank you. Excellent. So now it's time for...